Late one night over 14 long hours, our mustard dog mum Debbie gave birth to 10 gorgeous little collie pups. But what few may know is that a very special puppy was born. This beautiful, all-white pup was different to his brothers and sisters. <laughs> We've got a white, pure white dog pup. For starters, he has two different coloured eyes. But that's not the only thing that makes him unique. Hey, if all the pups would wake up and this bloke would stay asleep. So we pretty soon assessed that he was deaf. And for puppy educator Carolyn Hudson, it certainly made raising the puppies more interesting. The little deaf boy, he's a bit of a cracker and very entertaining. I lost him one day in the front paddock, went round and round with the other pups looking for him and thought, oh, what am I going to do now? Like, surely I'd be able to see him because he's white and stands out. Come back and here he is sitting in the pen back at the house. It was just hilarious. I keep probably a closer eye on him more than I used to now, so I don't lose him again. Um, I know I've got to be in his sight and I can wave or hit my legs and he'll come to me. I'd like him to go to a good home because he has got a lot of brains and he is hilarious. I don't know how you get over the verbal, the verbal signing or how it works with them. Would this pup be able to become a working mustard dog? <laughs> Luckily, his new home turned out to be at Hillview with Frank Finger. Lovely pup. Expert dog handler, winner of Series 1 Mustard Dogs and a national treasure in his own right. I got a white pup out of the litter. I called him lucky because I thought I was lucky to have him and he was probably lucky to be here because I would put up an effort to make something of him. He's a very friendly dog, a happy dog, and I think he wants to please. For Frank, teaching a dog with disabilities has its challenges. So when it comes to the training, I can't get commands on him, that's fine. Dogs don't need commands. So he just goes off body language and atmosphere. So they can feel vibration and that helps keep him alive. I just knew that it, I, I would win him over by friendship. Lucky, lucky. So we started in a little yard area and every time he would look at me from a distance, I would clap my hands. So when he came, I'd just give him a big heap of love and pat him. Because I can't call him back, I've got to get his attention, like stamp my feet or do something with vibration so he knows I need him. And I just get down on the ground with him and make a big thing of it every time, even now, every time. And, that, and that's working a treat. Lucky fits into the pack well. And, and the other dogs just treat him as normal. They don't know. He can't hear. We just let dogs work naturally. And he's a shiny example of that. He just works and does a good job, just as good as mother does. Their natural instinct is to work and he's happy working and the more he can work, the happier he is. Okay folks, this is Lucky. <laughs> and I'm lucky to have him. So that's why he's lucky. <laughs> so for Lucky, he really has had a lucky life. Living his best life as a working mustard dog. <laughs>